Hey guys, I have a huge mix haul from Timu to share with you guys today. I've got clothing, I've got junk journal supplies and random cute little bits to share with you guys today. The clothing especially I'm very excited about because I just started kind of getting into that category with Timu. So it's just, it's been a wonderful world to dive into. Um, so let me share with you guys what I got. First, I wanna thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. They are absolutely wonderful. I love them so much. I know you guys love Timu as well. So thank you to Timu for sponsoring. If you don't know about them, let me put you on the website that you just, the, of all the websites, this is one you need to know about. Timu is a website where there are so many categories that you can shop within. Jewelry, toys, crafts, business and industry and science, beachwear, clothing for women, men, children, appliances, smart home devices, office, school supplies, shoes, electronics, musical instruments, the list goes on. What makes them so special in my personal opinion is the fact that you get quality items and the pricing. The pricing is so absolutely amazing. It's probably the cheapest I've seen just about anywhere. Plus they offer free shipping and free returns within 90 days. On top of that, they do a 30 day back money or an adjustment. So like, for example, if you were to purchase something and within 30 days that price adjusted, they're going to credit you that difference back. To get a $100 coupon bundle off, go into the Timu search bar and type in Crafty100 to get that discount. You can type it into either the desktop version, the website, or you can type it into the Timu app as well. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. Well, let me show you guys now what I got. First item might be sold out already because it's just, it's amazing. There, There's going to be a, re the first item, might be sold out, but everything will be linked down below. Plus, if anything is sold out, you can always click on the notify me button within Timu and it's gonna let you know as soon as it's come back in stock. This might be one to watch because I introduced it into a my vlog, I believe. So the vlog got to see this item first. And in that video, I said I was gonna order a second one because I wanted this for two different categories. So, um, I was just thinking, I was like, you know what? I want a tote for just my craft supplies, for my junk journaling supplies, or for other things like planners and stuff. And I found this tote bag. And it just, on the outside, it looks like just a floral little bag. It's cute, it's got a clear pocket in the front. I'm loving the clear pocket detail. Um, but it's the inside that is absolutely just, I don't know who designed this. So here is the inside to this bag that makes it so special. And it is the fact that it has this like filing system. I really don't even know like what you would call this. The first one I'm gonna store junk journaling supplies. And then my second one, I wanted to start doing like my planner supplies and also maybe like my reading logs as well for when I read my novels. And it's also a tote, like I said, so I can just like, take it with me anywhere. So if I wanted to go like junk journal at a coffee shop or something, I can go do that. All right, now let's get into some of the clothing items. This is my first time opening any of this and seeing any of it. So it's kind of like a first impressions. I saw these acid washed denim shorts. They definitely remind me of the 80s. Yeah, they look really good. I'm not gonna do a try on, but just feeling it, I really like the material. So that's nice. Um, and in this bag, I got a um, navy sports bra. Super pretty. Feels like really great athletic material. There's a nice stretch to it. There are, it has built in cups, by the way. So it's like sewn in. Seems very nice. It doesn't seem like overly dramatic because I'm not a fan of like cups. Um, so I usually will pull mine out, but this doesn't seem like overly padded, which is really nice, but yeah, I just wanted to get some like active wear too and start, you know, just kind of, um, testing those out and this bag. Oh, I saw this graphic like quarter zip and I just thought it was so cute. 
it also kind of gave that little vintage vibe. Just, this is like what quarter zips used to look like in the 90s. There was always this color block at the top and then something in the center. But the last frontier, that is so cute, is just a nice sweatshirt. It's plain on the back. Very well done, just feeling it. It feels like very nice material. Also look at this detail in the zipper with the green on the inside, wow, so nice. And I did get mine in a large because I like to wear certain things, you know, I guess a certain way. Okay, and this next bag, it looks to be like just another little sports bra and it's just a plain black one. Again, this is like just me just diving into their clothing line for women, just kind of experiencing some of this for the first time. This beautiful like crisscross detail. I know it's kind of hard to see some of this stuff on without me trying it on, but there's that top. Okay, this one came in a pack. So for the price, you get all of these. Look at these colors. These are totally up my alley. I am not a person of like major color. So I like finding these basics. And I also love the thinness of the straps. I think any little detail is just so cute. So we've got this color green, which is a beautiful, this is like the perfect green for me. So love that. Then we've got a white. These are just the perfect colors. A nice neutral brown a gray and a black i think this is the same as the navy except i also got it in black next up um looks like i got some socks these are like ankle socks Ooh, they're nice and thick too i wish you guys could feel these like quality almost reminding me of like bomba bombus bomba socks i know my brother loves them and i've bought them for him before but it's like reminding me of that um wow the next clothing item i had to get this even though i am in a part of the world that's just we're coming out of winter this better first of all it has a hood that is attached you cannot detach it and here's what it looks like that lining is so pretty so well done it even has like the open slit on the sleeve and you can button it up and then the pockets the pockets are so pretty look at that detail i think this is my last apparel item and then we'll get into the next category but it's another graphic sweatshirt something if you didn't watch my last humi haul i'll link it down below i got some really cute graphic tees and then I'm just a sweatshirt girl, no matter how hot it gets here in Texas, where you literally melt to the ground, I don't care, I will wear a sweatshirt. Like that's just how I am because it's so hot, you're inside anyways, and then inside it's freezing. So, you know, she's cute. Here's the print. I've got a double XL, so that is what this size is that you're looking at. And Yellowstone National Park. So I'm gonna add that to my sweatshirt collection and now actually now it looks like i have some more apparel i'm gonna try to like do this video in categories for you guys oh my gosh i forgot i got these like little bralettes and you get them in a pack of three they kind of remind me of airy look how pretty she is adjustable in the back just love that Sometimes I cannot be messing with wires. Do you understand me? Um, you know what I mean? Just can't. Here's this beautiful color. I wouldn't, this is like a navy gray or like a, I don't even know. There's like a hint of underlining blue, but it's like a dark gray. So we got that one. And then we have this beige sandy color. So these are the three colors that I got so pretty and the material is so nice i just know i'm going to be comfortable wearing that all right let me dig through here and see i think that's it so that's it for apparel the next category is makeup i got a couple of things that's another category i'm starting to kind of get into on, at timu so if there's a certain category you want just like a fully dedicated haul let me know and i will work on like searching for all the things next um 
but makeup has really been something I've been, like I said, I just started dabbling in it a couple hauls ago and this is a like blush and a believe this is a blush like look how pretty that packaging is and this color like it is a cream let me i'm i am not the swatch queen okay but like there she is so i got a total of four here's what they look like this is the one i just swatched i love a good peach moment these are cream blushes if i didn't already say that and here is this color right here like a darker peach could even maybe depending on your skin tone you can maybe use this as a bronzer but that is just absolutely stunning let's just like that is just one swipe so there's that one here's this color a little darker these might be a bronzer um like it is so creamy like so beautiful um and then we've got this like super pretty pop of pink and i'm just gonna put that right there the next item is this little makeup stick and it's a beautiful little blush. I tend to struggle with like pink blush. I don't know why, but a lot of the time it just like doesn't show up on me. I mean, I have this makeup going on, so I'm just gonna like, oh, she's gonna show up. I have another one and let's see what color I got on this one. Same exact packaging. Oh my gosh, a gorgeous, all right, that's it for the makeup category. Now let me share with you guys all of my crafting, journaling, all those finds. So up first is the Gratitude Journal. The, I can't believe Timu has this. They have this in multiple colors. I bought this journal for way more the price and not on Timu, obviously, for like a one year for Christmas, if you guys remember that. <laughs> I think it was like in a haul a long time ago. Hers is a cream color. And then I found it on Timu for a fraction of the price. Plus they have multiple colors. I got it in this beautiful sunshine yellow. They even have it in black. And for a second, like I thought about getting it in black because I love like all of my stuff being black. But something about this sunshine yellow really got me. And it's just a gratitude journal and you just like kind of write into the prompts every day and having gratitude. And I'm trying to like always be more mindful of what comes out of my mouth, you know? Um, the older I get, I wouldn't say like the wiser by any stretch of the means, but like the older I get, the more that I'm like trying to learn and try to improve myself. And I'm trying to make sure that as much as I can, what comes out of my mouth is more positive than negative. And so um, I wanted this journal to kind of like help me out with that and kind of like, you know, brain dump onto there and about my gratitude and then like, you know, you get it. Okay, next up, I got these cute little like, you can see there's just, I don't even know what the count is on this. I got this for junk journaling. It's just so cute. I love anything that has like this look and this feel. I can always age it out. I can even dye it like coffee dye it, tea dye it, um, so that it looks, you know, weathered and old. This is like my first time kind of seeing. Oh, yes. I can just know immediately if they're just gonna be a hit for me with my junk journal, and this is a hit. I look for things that are like bright and colorful. It looks clean. Um, and then on the flip side, it looks like this. Like, look how cute that is. So you've got two sides you can work with. Oh my gosh, this is just so adorable. I'm gonna have to buy another deck of these. I also got those entry blank, uh, that little pad in white, but I also got it in you just like single pieces of paper that you can tear off and like look how many you get. Okay, here is another set of flash cards. These are a fruit theme and they are so cute. So on one side, they actually look like, well, hang on. So 
they show the real image of it on the other side. So like here's the pear, but then like an actual real image of it. So like here's a grape and then like look how cute these are. Now for junk journaling, just in case you're wondering, I would prefer these. There's just something about how clean they look and bright again and colorful. These are so cute, but I also have this side to work with as well. They have the same pack, but this is a food and beverage. So this is what they look like. So like, for example, again, hamburger. I mean, that's not a hamburger, <laughs> but like, you know, so cute. Very adorable that that is precious. I'm definitely going to love working with those. Let me pick out some of my favorites real quick. All right, so here are my favorites from that deck. I'm really just looking at overall color and how cute it just looks. The candy is really pretty too. So yeah, those are my favorites. Since I did it for the food and drinks, I'll show you guys my favorite from the fruit collection. Just in case you're wondering. So these would be the ones that I would use like right away for my junk journal items. I got, I guess, just some like vintage papers. So here's what they look like. Now there's, when you get to junk journaling supplies, you get so much quantity for just like such a small price. And the quality of it is so pretty. Like look at these images. So I can't go through absolutely every single image or we would be here for an hour. I don't know, do you need like an hour long haul? But yeah, so those are those pieces of paper. Ooh, what is this? Um, they kind of look like baseball card, like, um, cases or something with the cards in them, but I don't know if that's like what's going on, but they look so cute. It's been a while. I've had this haul for a minute, so it's kind of like seeing it. Oh, they're laminated. They're laminated and that's so cute. Like. Also just for learning and teaching for your kids. Like if junk journaling is not your thing, like look how cute these are. So we've got sunny, we've got cloudy, foggy. Oh my gosh, foggy is so cute. <gasps> the moon. And then you can also use the word, like the word is pretty too in junk journaling. So like using the moon as the like on display, that would be pretty too. This is lightning and then rainy got rainbow we've got snowy oh my gosh these are so cute we've got stormy we've got tornado and then we've got windy next up i got this like rollo deck style set here and i'm very excited about this um more to come on this i'm not gonna dive too much into this but more to come junk journaling ladies up we've got some uh vintage like postcard they're like a thicker you know they're thicker than just like standard paper so these are just like a postcard and look how many again like i can't possibly go through this whole thing but just to give you guys an idea and then i will pull like some of my favorites so that you can see those but all right, I pulled out some of my favorites. The first one is hilarious. I'm just gonna let you read. But I don't want to, a novel by me. That's a genius title. Ghostbusters, love the color. Again, I'm just like looking at color, things that I don't know, just like stand out to me. It makes me happy. I love like the all black on this one. The pink Cadillac, super cute. Circus, like it's so random. This, I got this cause I was like, that's something Clark Griswold would be doing. You know, and I had to get it. I had to put it in my favorites. Love this one for how bright it is. And then the bottle caps. Look, apparently I ordered another one. Yeah, like I said, it's been, it's been a while since I placed this order. Not a while since I've gotten it because it comes super fast, but I just, yeah, anyways. 
So these are colors. So whatever it says here, like you just know it says on the back. Black, brown, gray, purple. The splats are so cute. Love that it's, yeah, that is gonna look so sweet junk journaling. And then of course you've got them spelled out in the back. I wonder if they have these in like more things other than just like the colors and the, the weather. Let me get on Timu real quick. Next up, looks like I got this little like journal haul again, but surely something for junk journaling, no doubt. So, and then it comes with the little closure. So super cute, you can do some organization with that. Then it looks like I have the alphabet flashcards in which you can put on the clip. Um, but of course, I'm probably not gonna put it on my clip. I just want the cards to junk journal with and put it like down onto like paper. Um, but just to kind of show you guys what this set looks like. The cards are a little bit bigger. It's always things to like, you know, look for when you're junk journaling, just sizing and you know, whatever floats your boat. So you get the gist on the back. They are just the letters. So also again, great for learning, especially if you're homeschooling or you just have like a home library for the kids, you know, stuff. All right, next up, let's get into some of my like stickers. So I got this little pack that has all of these like little random tickets, which are super cute. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of these just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Also, please excuse my nails. They, they, don't, they don't look great, but these little tickets, I love tickets. It's one of the things that I always look for. Um, then I have this method, it's like tickets but it's like in a, I'll show you, like I don't know how to, like, look how pretty that is. And I wish you could touch this in person because it, it has a really nice texture to it. Like you can definitely kind of feel the embossing from the gold bits. And there are different little like tickets in here. So everything will be linked down below. Um, and then, I got this pack and in this pack, your tickets kind of like are a little bit longer, but you can cut them down and they look like real tickets. I mean, they're meant to kind of like, they've got the little where you can tear them off. I don't know if you can see that, but so pretty. Tickets are one of another one of my favorite junk journaling things. Um, okay, then I got this set, again, retro tickets in this blue color. It actually shows you all of the tickets that you get in here. Like this one is one of my favorites in the pack. And anytime they do like this red, I'm gonna open it so I can show you guys some of these that like I just really, really like. But so, so cute. And then this one. Okay, let's see if I can buy, yes, like whenever they do like a bold red like this, I really like it. I don't know, just looks so vintage. Um, let's see if I can find, here's that nine. Ugh, these are just so gorgeous. I just love anything, absolutely anything that's retro. Um, okay, so we've got those tickets. Then I got these little sticker packs. They just have like numbers, a bunch of like random numbers and bits in here. Again, I'll just show you guys like a couple, but like this one looks like a little vintage tab, super cute, another small little tab. And then you just get some like random numbers. They kind of look like hotel room numbers too, which is really cool. So if you're junk journaling, you're traveling, maybe you can like, record your hotel number kind of thing that would be cute little like checklists on here um number three yeah this is like a whole little like numbers pack which is yeah oh so cute i can't even stand it um this one is cool let me show you guys this one like a little stamp it has got horses i don't know if you can like see their their nose 
but that's so cute. So love those. Okay. And then let me just dump these back in here. Then I've got this pack. Probably another set of just like random retro, you know, little pieces of paper. Okay, just some, oh. And let me tell you, I probably haven't even discovered a fraction of what team has got to offer. Like tickets in this one. There are so many like pieces of paper too. So the price is so incredibly cheap, like literally in the small dollars. And you get so much quantity too. And then also behind those, you get like the bigger. They give you bigger chunks of these like vintage looking papers you know they're so random like ledgers and all kinds of things in this little box you get a stack of little vintage papers and i think there's a lot in here i think it might be something like 500 maybe a thousand but it's just a bunch of really cute little like vintage papers with just so many random little images on them. Some of them are like little storybooks. So cute, like musical notes, just filled with so many cute little like images. Loki's underneath me snoring, <laughs> so. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. I am very excited for this one. This is the first time I've ever gotten anything like this, where this is a newspaper daily. It's basically like label looking like stickers, but you get a thousand pieces. And look how cute the box is. And let's see what it looks like. I've never seen this. I've never gotten anything white like this. Oh my gosh. They are individually like put. Oh, wow. <gasps> so many cute little. Like, I'm just gonna so you can kind of like see. Random, like a bunch of random little like label stickers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually dump all of mine into my box and then you just have your own little box of cute oops cute little labels so we've got this box but i also got another one very similar this this one also has a thousand this one's a thousand pieces that one oh was a thousand and eight so a thousand and eight pieces on that and this one also comes like in this little box and then you have to just and they are also packaged the same. So I'll go ahead and just like throw up. I mean, you get kind of the gist. I'd rather not dive too much into this. That way it'll be a fun experience for you to kind of unbox your own um, if you do get this. But so yeah, so cute. I, you can just tell, like if you're a junk journaler, you kind of like see stuff, like you just know what you like. Um, this definitely, oops, looks super cute. Like, and there's like different color palettes to each little bag. All right, I got all of my little stickers in here. They're just full to the top. There's so many of them. Um, but yeah, super excited. Didn't even know like you could get a box of like a thousand stickers and labels. And that's it for today's haul. I hope you guys loved the three categories, the clothing, the little makeup category, and the my junk journal crafting supplies. Don't forget to use Crafty 100 to get that $100 coupon bundle by typing Crafty 100 into the Timu search bar through the Timu app or the website. Thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video. I will link everything down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.